I didn't sleep very good last night just because I was excited about it. <laughs> In the basement of United Auto Workers Local 249 are piles on piles of boxes yep. <sighs> that could be mistaken for junk. I couldn't imagine they were throwing all this stuff away. But Dave Grant doesn't see it that way. This stuff has never been worn, ever. When Grant recently learned that a local auction company was planning to throw away $250,000 worth of clothes they couldn't sell, well, what is this? he asked if the UAW could have them. When they opened the trailer doors and all the stuff started falling out toward me, I was just baffled. These, though, aren't just any kind of clothes. It's until you start putting all the emblems on there, does it look military? They were originally made for cadets at the now-closed Wentworth Military Academy in Lexington, Missouri. Bundles of khaki shirts. Military gloves, just regular t-shirts. I couldn't fit into that these days, but... Grant knew exactly who would appreciate the gear. And then back here, I've got these trench coats. This is awesome. Homeless veterans. Veterans in this country, unfortunately, a lot of times don't feel like when they come back from combat situations that they're really wanted or that they're even thought of. You see, he served in the military for 20 years. <laughs> and knows firsthand how hard it can be for veterans to reintegrate into civilian society. But I didn't let everybody know that I was struggling not only mentally, but financially, and it was tough to get by. He's hoping this small gesture will make veterans who aren't as fortunate, to me it looks like Christmas, feel better about themselves. I'm playing Santa Claus basically tomorrow without the, without the, beard, without the beard, but I had the belly, so. <laughs> and for him? Anything I can do to make a veteran feel good, I'm gonna do it.